I recently talked about Barry Windsor Smith, and these are three books by him that I have in adore. A Daster in Africa, which is actually repurposed Life, uh, Life Death number three, which was a story by uh, Barry Windsor Smith that was appearing in the Uncanny X-Men books, the Chris Claremont run. There was uh, Life Death 1, Life Death 2. It's basically Forge and Storm. So he went and created a Daster, which is basically Storm, and it's all black and white, but the artwork is just it is remarkable. It's it's fantastic. I, I adore it, truly. And it's about basically coming to grips with things you can't control, literally life and death, even though it's not called that on the book. But it is kind of comforting. It's intriguing, but mainly it's just dealing with things you have no control over and it's learning to accept that. So it's, you know, it, it's... But we're doing it in, a, in, a, in an entertaining way. Oh, I can't speak. Uh, we have Freebooters. Another basic. Uh, Barry Windsor Smith cut his teeth uh, in the early days by doing Conan. So basically, this is what if Conan's done and seen everything, and he's become a fat slob. But he's still good at what he does, but he's a fat slob. And it's just I, I love all the detail they put in this book. There's a uh, fan of graphics put these out, and just the absolute detail the world building and everything and it's as you can see you have full color and then you have black and whites as well so yeah I, I, I adore it and it's uh, one of these things like you can't never go home again and also cleaning the past is not a good idea so it's like I guess there is a, there's a, a thread through it all and then we have Young Gods and Friends which is like a send up to the Jack Kirby stuff and that's a Dastra from the first book but now she's a little different and uh, it's, the book's a little bit more risque as far as content goes but uh yeah, it's uh, literally these young gods come to Adastra, and there's a really cool scene uh, later on in the book where gods come to Earth, and they forget to rematerialize in their proper form, and they're giants, like 300 feet tall. It's like, oh, crap, forgot. Smaller realm. we got to like compact our bodies. It's like, oh, that's interesting. What if Thor and Loki had done that in the comics? But whatever. But uh, great comics, great art. Barry Windsor Smith, he rules.